and I'm back with another video. Okay, we're gonna get straight to it. If you look at the title, this 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 is gonna be a chit chat about trust issues, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to me this week. Um, I think it was Monday. I was like, you know, I'm gonna take a rest day. I'm not gonna film or nothing like that. I'm just gonna relax. It was Monday or Tuesday. And I did it in a filming because my hall downstairs flooded. Which was so fucking crazy because I didn't plan on filming anyway. But it's like that happened. So it was like they took up my whole day trying to get that problem fixed. Now, when the maintenance came to um to fix the issue, it was like three of them. And I was talking to them, you feel what I'm saying? I usually don't. But I don't know, for some reason, I was talking to him. Um, I was getting to know him or whatever. Because I always say, I would say hey, whatever to him, but never like an in-depth conversation. Like the conversation got so in-depth that I know they middle name. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, but it was one of them that I was speaking to in particular. And I was like, I told him, I said, um, y'all make sure y'all remember me because y'all gonna see me on the big screen one day. Like, I'm gonna be famous for real, for real. Like, I told them that. And they was like, um, they're like, oh, well, what you do? And I said, I do YouTube. And then uh, one of them was like, um, what you do on YouTube? And I said, let me see how I can describe this. Because I was trying to, like, say it all, like, everything that I do and, and put it into simple terms. Like, I didn't want to say, like, oh, I address my... Tr I didn't want to go through all of the whole spiel. I just want to say, like, a couple words to explain what I do. So, I said, um, I promote healing and I promote addressing trauma. And so, and y'all don't look at my nails. My press-ons are pressing off. <laughs> but, um, that's what I'm like about press-ons. They only last a day. But anyways... If that, probably a couple hours. But, yeah. And so, he was like, well, can you help me and my baby mama stay together? And I was like, no, sir, I cannot. Now, listen, I can't do that. I can't do that. I don't I don't um, promote or exercise, like, that I'm a therapist. I'm not a therapist. I'm a spiritual worker. I'm someone that God... Um, basically put me through so many things in my life to be able to teach people um another way you feel me and making people healthier in the aspect of emotions or mentally helping people actually be genuinely happy and not just be living you feel what i'm saying like living 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 life happily and not just existing and so when he said that, I was like, absolutely not. But what I can do is help you work on yourself so you can be a better person for her, for her and in order for y'all to be able to come back together and make it work, she would have to do the same thing. But it starts with you. It starts with you wanting to change. And so I don't know how I got to this, but I was like, so um, what's one of the reasons why y'all not working out? And he was like, I don't trust people. So I was like, um, so why you don't trust people? And he was like, I just don't. And I told him, I was like, no, it's not a, you just don't. It's a reason why you don't trust people. And he was like, um, I said, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. No, I said, let me tell you. Let me tell you why you don't trust. I said, because whether this happened while you was growing up, it don't matter. But I'm sure it stemmed from your childhood. Someone that you thought that you were going to be able to trust betrayed your trust. And then after that, you know, that's where it stemmed from. But then after that, you probably came across more people that you thought you could trust that, uh, that you really couldn't. And that's what created trust issues. And I told them. I said, in order for you to be able to fix that about yourself, the first thing you have to do is address and see where that problem stemmed from. Where did that problem stem from? Where did you, uh, where did the first encounter happen? And then 
you can reflect on when the next ones happened up until the point where you just stopped caring and, and felt like trust wasn't important. And then after that, you grieve what happened. Grieve what happened. Let that, let it go. Write it down. And he told me, well, men don't write nothing down. I was like, well, maybe you should. Maybe you should consider that. Maybe you should because you need to release it and accept that though you are you are not responsible for the way that those people made you feel and and let that go and be a better person. You don't have to be whatever circumstance you was in. Just because you came across people that wasn't trustworthy doesn't mean that you don't have to be a trustworthy person or that doesn't mean that you have to look at everybody with a side eye. Now, it's okay to have discernment. But just overall, just not trust people because in the past, other people hurt you behind it. No, like, I, I'm sure that causes a lot of problems in that relationship because a big part of a relationship is trust. If you can't trust nobody, you have nothing. Because this person is going every day and living their life. And are you telling me every time they go to the grocery store, you side-eyeing them? Or every time you hear a male voice in the background, they could be at work, you side-eyeing them? Like, that is very, very, very unhappy unhealthy and he didn't like i didn't ask him about her at all because you know that like i didn't even want to get into that like i'm just like i can't help you with your relationship but i can help you with you you feel what i'm saying and so i could tell like um with him talking to me he was looking at me like damn like you right like you really know you really know your shit and i didn't say him shit about me i didn't say i done been through that shit to where i can't trust people i can't trust I couldn't trust my parents. You feel what I'm saying? It was so many times where my trust was broken, but I could meet somebody and I ain't gonna lie, it was a point in time where I was a loner. Like I didn't I didn't want people around me because I didn't want to give them the chance to hurt me. But now that I've been growing in my spirituality, it's like if you hurt me, there's something that you gotta live with. Because I know that I'm being the best person I could be to you. I'm not coming and associating myself with you with no ill intent. You feel what I'm saying? Everything that I do is genuine. So that's on you. I took that responsibility off of me. If you having trust issues and um someone did something to hurt you, take that take that responsibility off of you and don't don't continue to live with those trust issues. Because you may come across a person, and I'm pretty sure everybody has came across a person, especially if you have trust issues, that that they regret how they was treating them because of their past trauma. A, a really, you could come across a really good person. Like, for example, say for instance, the last relationship you was in, somebody cheated on you. And then you didn't properly heal. You just started talking to so many people. And then you then you finally found somebody that you liked talking to every day. And you made them your girlfriend. And now, and say for this person is a great person, amazing person, high energy, everything that you're looking for. But now, since you didn't take the time to heal, that the fact that that other relationship she cheated on you now you projecting your insecurities on this person and now you bringing this person down and this person never gave you a reason not to trust them it happened so many times that shit has happened to me so many times you feel well not so many times i ain't had that many damn boyfriends but i'm just saying that shit happens so much and i feel like the music promotes promotes like not being able to trust a female and it's not even that. With anybody that you meet, you should have discernment anyways. Like, when you meet somebody, you shouldn't be putting your all and pouring your all into it. You need to gradually work on it and say little things and see, like, little trustworthy things. Like, you wouldn't care if, if they told somebody, but if you hear it back, you're like, oh, I can't trust you. You feel what I'm saying? You got to test people these days. I'm not lying. Then that's when you'll know how genuine someone is. And I'm going to tell you, watch out for these people too because it's people that's uh, manipulators. Like, they'll come to you and tell all of their business to you and wait on you to get ready to say something. You, They ready. They told you all this just for you to get them some tea. Now, I had that happen to me twice with two friendships that I cut off because it's just like, I'm the type of person, you come to me telling me your problems, I'll listen to you and I'll give you genuine advice. But as soon as I start, and I won't say anything shit about me. 
But as soon as I start feeling like every time I'm talking to you, you waiting on me to tell you something about me so you can have something to know about me, that's when I cut it off because it's like you just telling me this to get in my business. And I don't like people in my business. And that's why I tell my business. Because if I tell it, people can create their own narrative. Hence my trauma series. But I literally, like, I literally had a friend, friend, quote unquote, who used to tell me all of her relationship issues. And her her boyfriend was friends with my boyfriend at the time. And she'll tell me certain shit. And then she'll be like, Well, do your boyfriend do that? No, ma'am. Nope. I don't know what to tell you. And the one time I did tell her I was going through something in my relationship, he cheated on me, and it really fucking hurt me. It hurt me to my core. And me and her was fucking with each other heavy. She was telling me all the shit about her boyfriend, but I never told her shit about my boyfriend. But this one time in particular, I did, and she was running around telling everybody. See, sometimes you come across people that, that want they may come to you as a genuine person, but they just want to be able to say something bad about you. I'm the type of person, people can't read me. People don't know much about me. But if I let you in, it's like every time, I, and I'm not going to say every time, but most times when I let people in, it's because they, they and I tell them something, as soon as they hear one bad thing, they're like, oh, let me run off and tell this because I know people don't know this. She going through this shit too. She just, you know saving face or whatever and it don't even be that i just don't like people in my business and that's why and it did create trust issues with females it did it did it definitely did but now i just know how to move with discernment i know how to ta -ta 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 -ta. i know how to keep shit to myself because during my spiritual journey i have been by myself majority of the time i didn't have people that i can call and vent to and i think that's why um, God made me go through the journey because a lot of things I go through I need to keep to myself because people be so happy that you're going through shit they be so happy they'll call yourself your friend but if you tell them that you're going through something yeah they might seem concerned concerned on the outside but on the inside they happy as hell they happy as hell people are good at wearing a mask and you know, I'm very cautious of that now. Like, you will have to be a fucking master at that shit for me not to read that. But it's gonna take me a long it'll take me a long time to start revealing things to people. And that's just that's just how I am. And that's just how I've been. But you can talk to me about anything because I know I'm not the type of person that's gonna um run into and tell. And I feel like that's why people are so comfortable talking to me because I'm so reserved, because they don't hear me in mess, because I'm put up, because I wanna be put up, because I'm not Wilding on social media, people instantly meet me. I kid you not. People instantly meet me and tell me all their business. And I believe that's because of the spirit that I walk around with. And 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 two, because of that, especially when I start like befriending people, I become their therapist. And it's been times where I've had to cut off relationships because they started dumping all their issues on me. And it's just like, and, ooh, I got a story time for that. But it's just like, I can't, I'm not your therapist. I'm your friend. Now, certain situations I can help you with. But when it becomes an everyday thing, every time an inconvenience happens, you calling me, like, that can become unhealthy and you don't know how my spirit, what my spirit down that day. And I can't take, listen to your problems because you don't know what I'm dealing with. And I had to learn that too because me and my friend, my best friend, we was doing that to each other. One week I was up and she was down and vice versa. Like the next week, that, 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 that. And we kept trying to lift each other up, which it didn't work then. But then we started getting overwhelmed. We're like, girl, let's just take a break from talking because we can't be codependent on each other with everything because it can get draining and i understand that and me are we still from we don't talk every day but that's still my girl you feel what i'm saying and that's just what it is but yeah if you're having trust issues see where it stem from like i said grieve whatever it is accept it for what it is and try not to be that person to somebody else Try not to place insecurities on someone else because of things that happened in your past that has nothing to do with that person. You know? 
So I hope this helps someone out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, comment below if you have anything to, to add on in regards to this conversation. And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Mwah! Peace and love.